it, Gary. You're up to the World Championships on uh, this weekend? Yes, yes, certainly. Have you been to Australia before? No, never. How long are you going for? Uh, well, the championship will take three weeks. Um, the possible, uh, possible we'll do a few exhibitions, which we'll get to another four months. We'll five weeks all together. Yeah. Now, uh, you were uh, amateur champion of the world. I was, yes. Uh, you've been a pro, what, is it two years now, Gary? Just over two years, yeah. What's the difference now? What do you, what do you find the main difference between playing amateur snooker and the big snooker? It's a bit harder, of course. Um, well, it's the class of uh, play is, uh, you know, a little different than an amateur. It's, uh, it's you mean the, class, the standards yeah. are consistently high? Oh, yeah, consistently yeah, high. You've yeah. got to work hard all the time. Yes. Um, what, well, how does the championships work out this time? I believe it's the first time that they've been held in Australia. That's right, yeah. It's, um, uh, it's on uh, two league bases. There's uh, four players in each league. Um, the four players play four matches each. And the other four play four matches each, and uh, the top four go into the semi final. Uh, do you see that the championship's coming back to this country at all? Oh, it will do, yes. Yes. Um, uh, we're trying to move it around, you know, uh, as much as possible. And uh, I don't say it'll be back in this country next year. Yeah, is, the, is the program in a healthy state now? Yes, I think it is. Um, I think there's more interest uh, in snooker altogether now than, than there was, uh, you know, there has been for ages. Good. It looks as though Gary's settling down for a useful break now. Rex? Yes, this is shaping well. Yeah. Um, well, I might as well take the opportunity of having a few words with you, if that's all right. Yes, certainly. You've yes. played for the World Pro Championship many times. Yes, you indeed. You're not going to Australia on this occasion, or why? Uh, no, well, actually, it was arranged for me to go. I was, play I was defending the Billiards Championship in Australia, and at the same time, the contract was to play in the Snooker Championship. Because you are, of course, World Billiards yes. Pro Champion. Yes, but uh, unfortunately, the... I was playing Albert Johnson of Australia, and the Billiards Association uh, said that uh, they wouldn't sanction the uh, match, and that I'd go to play Leslie Driffield. So in fact, this has um, stopped my chance of playing in the snooker championship. Why wouldn't they sanction it? Why, um, why did they insist on Driffield? Well, they insist on Driffield. Actually, I'm not sure the reason. It could be that Driffield sits on the BNCC Council and helps them make the decision. Uh, and this has caused a lot of argument because. Um, the professional association don't agree with the uh, decision for Driffield to play for the championship. And in fact, uh, we have now disassociated ourselves from the BNCC and we'll be running our own professional championships. Well, well this is very serious. And this means yes, that professional billiards players have pulled away from the official association. Yes, indeed. This is, uh, this is a very serious thing. And uh, this did happen actually about 18 years ago. We broke from them then. And we went back to them about five years ago. But it still hasn't worked out, so we're going to run our own affairs.